24 astronauts are scheduled to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center to the International Space Station this weekend. The joint SpaceX NASA mission called Crew One is set for liftoff from Florida at 7.49 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Here's a look at launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center this morning. This mission will mark the start of regular crew rotation flights to the ISS using American-made commercial spacecraft. Mark Strassman is there. Mark, how's it looking? Good morning, Anthony. Take a look. This is how it's looking. A, a much closer look now at the rocket sitting on legendary launch pad 39A, home to Apollo liftoffs, to space shuttle launches, and now the SpaceX era. For the company, all the test flights are over. This is the first regular operational flight to carry people into space. Take a look now. That's the Falcon 9 rocket behind me. On top is the Crew Dragon capsule. And with this flight, SpaceX could solidify its place in this new commercial era of space. Commander Michael Hopkins and his crew arrived in Florida by charter jet. They plan to depart tomorrow by rocket ship. We're starting this new era where we're going to rotate crews to the International Space Station from American soils with our commercial partners like SpaceX. And so we're very excited uh, to be a part of that. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Their mission follows this summer's successful demonstration flight of Crew Dragon, SpaceX's new ship. America no longer needs the Russians to get to the space station. Even though um, we've had the demonstration mission and this is a certified uh, vehicle at this point, we're still going to be doing a lot of firsts. This Crew Dragon will carry four astronauts, its first full flight. More astronauts means more science aboard the $100 billion orbiting lab. Astronauts Hopkins, Shannon Walker, and Soichi Noguchi of Japan are all spaceflight veterans. Pilot Victor Glover is the rookie. Every single bit of the mission, it'll be the first time I've been able to do that thing in space. Just getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Every piece of the mission is going to be the first time I get to do something in space. Do not latch and the IMV is closed. Glover is 44. The former Navy pilot is the father of four girls. In the lab's 20-year history, he'll become the first black astronaut to stay for a long-duration mission. Does that mean something to you? Uh, I will once I get there. I try not to think about that too much. I think it is important for our astronaut corps and the accomplishments of our agency to represent the beautiful variety in this country. And so it, it is important to have kids who look like me or look like I looked when I was younger uh, see someone that, that uh, they can relate to that way. On Thursday, in Teslas, the crew rehearsed their drive to the launch pad. The road to any launch is long and hard. COVID-19 made this one harder. That's why the crew named their spaceship Resilience. It just felt right. It's been a tough year for everybody for a lot of different reasons. And we felt like if the name of our vehicle could give a little hope, a little inspiration, put a smile on people's face, then that is definitely what we wanted to do, and we felt like resilience was the name that did that. For tomorrow night's launch, weather conditions are considered 70% favorable, and for NASA and for SpaceX, this six-month mission and this moment are what they've been aiming for all along, Tony, which is the start of regular scheduled crewed missions between Florida and the space station. Yeah, it's a very big deal, Mark. Thank you very much. And we like Victor, don't we? We like yeah, Victor very much. Cool. He's the ultimate girl dad, it seems. Yeah. And I think resilience very is family, yeah. very beautiful. I, I love how, com how compartmentalized astronauts are. You yes. ask them a question, like, we'll think about that tomorrow. Yeah. But right yeah. now, we're thinking yeah. about this. I'll yeah. feel that when I get there. But I just think resilience is such a great word yeah. great. in all yeah. things, yeah. really. Yeah. We've needed that more than anything. Yeah, this year. you're right. Cheering Blast off on. for resilience.